Hi friend, so just a few days ago we got a beta update for the Remarkable Paper Pro. This is the version 3.19 and it brings three new features. But the one that really stands out and I think many of you will appreciate is the increased screen brightness. I've tested it fully and I will share my battery results and thoughts in a moment, so let's jump right in. First off, just a quick reminder, this is a beta update. That means your device won't receive it unless you've joined the Remarkable beta program. You can do that through the software settings on your device. And like with any beta program, keep in mind that it may cause other issues, so only sign up if you're okay with that risk. Now let's talk about the updates, there are really three of them. The smallest change is in the settings menu. Previously, display, cloud and help were all in one section, but now they've been separated into their own sections. It's a small change, but it does make things a little bit clearer. The next one is more useful in my opinion. When you're viewing pages, you can now change the grid size. So you get four options, large, medium, small and least view. For me personally, the small grid is the best balance. It gives me enough detail in the thumbnails without taking up too much space. And here's something quite interesting I noticed after installing the update. If you press and hold the plus button at the bottom, a pop-up appears and gives you a quick notebook sheet to start drawing or writing. I thought it was a pretty handy shortcut, but in fairness, I don't remember ever seeing this option before. It only showed up after the update, so I'm wondering, is this part of the new release or if it's always been there I and I just never noticed? If you know more about this, let me know in the comments. Now onto the most important feature in the update, the increased brightness strength. Here's a quick look at what it looks like when you're going from the lowest to the highest brightness levels and then switching the extra bright option on and off. You can clearly see the difference, it's definitely brighter and I think that's what many of us have been waiting for. What's also great is that this brightness change finally fixes a problem people were trying to hack around in the past using just custom tweaks and workarounds. So it's actually good to see that Remarkable is actually listening to its users. But is it useful? In my opinion, definitely. The extra brightness makes reading in bed or in darker environments so much more comfortable. I think this should have been here from the start, but I'm glad it's here right now. But the real question is, what's the battery cost of this brighter screen? In terms of battery tests, I did multiple 15 minute reading sessions at different brightness levels, keeping all the other settings exactly the same. During each test, I swiped to a new page every 20 seconds to simulate active reading. With brightness level set to max and extra bright turned off, I saw an average of 6% battery drain per hour. But when I turned the extra bright on, that number jumped to 10% per hour. That's a 4% increase, which means about 65% more battery used. And that's a pretty big jump if you ask me. I also tested brightness level 3. At that level, with extra bright off, I got about 4% battery drain per hour. With extra bright on, it doubled to 8% per hour. So based on a couple of tests I did, you can expect between 65 to 100% more battery drain when using extra bright, depending of course on your brightness level. Bear in mind, these were just my home tests, so your results may be slightly different depending on your own use and environment. And if you've tested it too, let me know in the comments what results you got. Also, what do you think about these changes and what other features would you like to see on the Paper Pro? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so leave them in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And a big thank you to all the YouTube members. Your support is much appreciated. But that's not all. If you want to learn some cool tips and tricks for the Paper Pro, check out this video right here. Or if you're curious about my thoughts after using the Paper Pro for over six months now, here's a video you may enjoy. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!